Let's have a look at question 9 now. So it's about game theory. Suppose we have the following payoff matrix over here and we have to see what are going to be the equilibrium in this game. So let's start playing. We'll see what happens when player 1 moves and then we'll see what happens when player 2 moves. moves. Um, so if we, if we choose strategy T for player 1, what does player 2 choose? We know that the second, the second number is going to be the payoff for player 2. So we have to choose the number that's going to be the highest for player 2. And player 2 would choose L because that gives him the, uh, the biggest value. 4 is greater than 0 is greater than 2. So that would be the option over here. Now let's change colors for every strategy. So if we go with strategy C from player 1, what does player 2 do? Well, 1 is greater than minus 2 is greater than 0. So he would go for 1. Now, what would happen if player 1 goes with strategy B? Well, player 2 is going to choose M because 3 is greater than 2 is greater than the other 2. So 3 is the best option for player 2. Now, the same logic. Let's see what happens when, let's see what happens when player 2 moves first. I mean, not when player 2 moves, but what happens if player 2 moves with strategy L? What's going to be the response from player 1? So from strategy L... Let's see what player 1 is going to do. And now we're looking for the first number because that's, that corresponds to the payoff for player 1. So player 1 would choose C because 4 is the greatest from these three options. So he would choose C. Now let's see what happens if player 2 moves with strategy M. So player 1 would choose B because 3 is greater than minus 1 is greater than 2. That's the best response from here. And let's see what happens if player 2 moves with strategy R. Well, in that case, player 1 is going to choose, is going to choose C, since 2 is better than, uh, than, than all of these. So 2 is the best option over here. Now, which is going to be the equilibrium over here? Where do, we have, where do we have the two options, the two ticks? We have it over here, and we also have it in this cell. So what's going to be the equilibria? We have two of them. It's going to be CL. So we have CL and we also have BM. And we also have BM and that's it. That's going to be the Nash equilibria for this game and we are done.